For anyone starting out in business intelligence and looking to onboard a new BI tool, the range of different platforms and solutions on the market can seem quite overwhelming. And making the right choice is really important to making sure your project is as successful as it can be. In this video, I'm gonna be outlining the six major differentiators of BI solutions, things to consider when making your choice. Hey everyone, Adam here from Vitamin BI, bringing you business intelligence for beginners and beyond. On this channel, we help you do more with your data, looking at things like data analysis and visualization, as well as BI platforms and how to choose the right one for you. So if you're new here, think about subscribing. And if you find this video useful, feel free to click that like button. So let's jump into the video and check out the six major differentiators of BI solutions. Connectors are essentially the different data types that the tool is able to work with. Uh, they're a bit like plugins built into the application that allow it to access the data sources wherever they may be, which will either be on-premise in things like Excel, CSV, or on-premise databases, or in the cloud in web services and applications, social media, that kind of thing. Each tool will have its own a la carte menu of connectors, and some will specialize in different areas. So when choosing a tool, it's a good idea to do an audit of the data you're working with now, but also the data you might potentially be working with further down the line. If you're going to be expanding your reporting, the different connectors is something that you'll need to bear in mind when making your choice. The second big differentiator of BI tools is data management. And this covers things like where and how the data is stored, the volume of data you can store, how data can be scheduled to refresh and update, as well as the tool's functionalities in terms of ways it can manipulate and transform the data. One of the biggest challenges of BI is connecting different data sources to one another so that they can be analyzed together. And different tools will have varying capabilities for being able to do this, and also for manipulating, treating, and processing the data to get it ready for analysis. Depending on the tool, it may require you to extract the data from where it is and load it into one of their data stores or servers. Or it may be able to communicate directly with the data source, depending on what it is, and work with it where it's located, which will take away the need for you to store data on the tool's servers. Most tools have some kind of built-in calculation engine, which will allow you to apply calculations to your data, a bit like you might do in Excel using formulas. Using different functions, you'll be able to apply transformations to your data, calculate ratios, group values together, that kind of thing. Some tools will have more varied and advanced functions. Some will have a graphical user interface to make it as easy as possible to create the calculations. And some will have their own syntax or language that you'll need to learn. If you don't have the necessary in-house expertise to be able to apply these calculations to your data before they get to the BI tool, you'll need to consider how the tool works with calculations, how far you can go, and also the learning curve for mastering any syntax of the tool. If you're starting out in BI and new to data analysis, then it's helpful to have a tool that simplifies the process of building your queries and reports. Most BI tools employ some version of a pivot table for aggregating and analyzing your data. So if you're already familiar with pivot tables, this should make things easier to understand. But the user experience and interface of different tools can vary greatly, with some being more technical, aimed at the experienced analyst, and others aimed more at the business user with an emphasis on intuitive design, thus reducing the complexity of the analysis process. The sweet spot is really a tool which hides powerful and complex processes behind an intuitive UI, thus making for a smoother workflow. In terms of the different visual representations of data, the charts and graphs that are available, this can vary widely too between different tools. All tools will offer the standard chart types like column, bar, line, pie, radar, and scatter plot charts, but some offer a wider range of more advanced visualizations to display things like hierarchies, relationships, geographical data, and more. 
Whether you'll need these advanced visualization types really depends on the data that you'll be reporting on. But in my opinion, if you're just starting out, the standard chart types should be sufficient. Another big differentiator for BI tools is the interactivity options that you have available for your published dashboards, allowing you to filter the data, drill down into it, as well as things like changing the metrics and dimensions on the fly. Interactivity is really useful because it allows your dashboard viewer to ask questions of the data and get an answer back in real time, rather than having a static report containing just a single view. If you're publishing to teams, different members may want to see different views of the data, so interactivity makes this a lot easier. Finally, the last of the six major differentiators of BI tools is publishing, mainly because in most cases, this will have a direct impact on the price that you will pay. Normally, the number of people that you want to share data in dashboards with is one of the price variables. So the more people you want to share with, the more it will cost, which makes sense. But some tools will require the person you're sharing the dashboard with to have their own account for that tool, whereas others will allow you to share with anyone outside of the platform via secure access. There are other options which make life easier for publishing, like being able to automatically filter the data contained within the dashboard based on the person who's viewing it, which takes away the need for duplicating dashboards and reports. And there you have it, the six major differentiators of BI tools. There is actually a seventh, which I haven't mentioned, and mainly because the other six feed into it, and that's the price. The cost of BI tools can vary greatly, with some running into the thousands per year, but there are others which offer a free yet restricted version of their fully functioning software. As you can imagine, the more advanced the tool is, the more you will pay. But don't forget, you probably already own the most widely used BI tool on the planet, Excel. So thanks for watching. Uh, feel free to like the video and leave your comments down below about your experiences with different BI tools. Until the next time, we'll see you soon and stay BI curious.